Hello guys and welcome back to another M Crater building tutorial. So today what we're going to be working on is a log cabin. So that's kind of what I suggested what we would work on in this particular build. Now there's going to be some different things that I'm going to be working on in this particular build. Um, not focusing too much on the props. I will, I may add one or two in the next couple days. I want to actually build a couple different segments mostly on um, like this particular project and we're going to be using Golderion's uh, chunk manager to basically load in uh, adjacent adjacent chunks so basically chunks that are connected on the sides to create a larger structure now this um is a little bit more of it of advanced system so we're actually going to be building kind of like a small settlement but it's a little bit more complicated than just building a simple thing. That's why I'm not going to be focusing too much on the aspect of um, adding the props and stuff. Uh, that's good for smaller builds, but things like uh, in like a little, I don't know, log cabin uh, settlement is probably not the best thing to do. So the first thing that we need to do is actually create a few different types of buildings. I'm going to hit the F3 and then G and this will enable or show the chunk boundaries. Now I have a custom uh, seed that I use, well not seed, but like um, generation where the terrain height is flush with the exact uh, segment of the chunk. So uh, we shouldn't have any building issues with uh, entities spawning in like the first episode and all that other stuff. Alright, so now that we got a couple different locations picked out where we're going to be building, we're going to be building there, there, and there, and there, and then... So let's go into here. I'm going to grab... Um, Let's see here, what can we work with? Now, what biome are we going to be adding it to? That's the question. Um, we could be adding it to a forest or a taiga. Uh, might be a little bit too big for a taiga. There's a lot of um, uneven terrain in tagas. Forests are a little bit easier to work with. Um, alternative birch, but depending on the terrain, birch can actually have higher hills and stuff. So generally you want to work with either spruce or uh, you could do dark oak dark oaks an option as well so we could do like maybe a dark oak um, log cabin I don't know if that's kind of like a idea or you know let's go with oak I think that will be just fine and we'll start with the foundation so I'm just going to leave a little bit of padding room away from the main uh, thing and I'm going to go probably leave about that much space. We'll go about five, six, seven, and fill this in so we can kind of get an idea where we're going to build. And then what we'll do is we'll double that number. So this is seven, right? So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then that will be the base of our foundation for this particular structure. Uh, the rest of this the rest of the space we can fill in with trees and stuff like that as well. So the other thing that we need is we're going to need some stone bricks. And once I find them, got some stone bricks. I will lay out the foundation part for this particular log cabin. So we'll go with something like that. Okay, so there, that's going to be a lot of space that we can work with. And we might even want to adjust the actual um, shape of it a little bit. So we can probably go in a little bit like that. Remove some of this stuff. And then we could probably do the same over on this side, just uh, to make it look a little bit more different. And that will be good actual shape to work with. Now, uh, we do want a chimney. Uh, we might want to put a couple chimneys. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
bring that out about there, give or take, maybe. Okay, if we do that, then we'll have some extra room that we can put a chimney on both sides. So I'm just going to do that instead. And then what we can do is we can build this up a little bit because this is our foundation level, right? So we'll go in like that. And I actually don't want these parts right here. Uh, we'll be decorating that with some stairs and stuff. So we just really want... Um... Okay, that's not equaling up. So there we go. Okay, so we want something like that. And then we'll go around this side. And then we have basically our foundation now. So now that we got that done, what we want to do is we kind of want to build up. So I'm going to put some windows over on this side. I'm going to leave about um, four blocks in height. That should be fine. And then we'll bring this up a little bit more. Like that. And then we'll bring this up. And then we'll leave the chimney area. We'll bring that up. Like that. And then we'll fill this in right here. And then we'll bring this up like that. So something like that will be good for a starting point. And then what we'll do is we'll bring that over to... Yeah, we'll bring it all the way down to the length of this. And... Bring that up to here. Now this is going to be a multi-story one, so what we want to do now is kind of figure out where our roof is going to go. So I'm going to give a little bit of space on the um, sides here, and then I'm going to bring this up a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is just uh, leave about two blocks for a chimney and stuff, so about that much space. And then I'm going to bring this up three. And then I want to basically go in a little bit and go up a little bit more. And a little bit more like that. Because generally uh, with snow, um, log cabins have a really sharp uh, roof type to basically allow snow to easily fall off. So it doesn't uh, do structural damage to the actual... Um, roof and basically cave it in and stuff so that's why a lot of the log cabins in like remote areas have very steep roofs is so basically they can get all that snow off and uh, make it a little bit easier for um, it not to basically cave in so that's why I left about two over here uh, we could probably even bring that in about there and then we can just have like a loft area or something at the level there i think that will do fine so bring that into about here and yeah we'll do that and then what we'll do is we'll bring this all the way to here we'll bring that up like so And then what we'll do is we'll just, um, now I'm probably going to leave that the way it is. And we're going to need to fill in some of this. So we could do the planks or what we could do is we now have the, uh, what do you call it, the stripped logs. So we can actually do some stuff with that. I'm going to put about two of those like that and it kind of gives the impression of a stripped like a log cabin kind of feel to it, right? So we'll we'll do something like that, and then we'll put some windows in here. And then we'll fill this part in with just regular logs. I might even want to expand the windows a little bit more on this side. And then we'll do this over here. And I think... I'm going to just quickly grab that. I'm going to 
and run that along here. And we're just going to basically place down some of these nicer side ones. We can put a large window in there. And then we'll do the same along this side here. So we'll run that along the length of here, I guess. And okay, I didn't take that into consideration. I'll bring that like this then. And we'll drop down. Should we drop that down? No, we'll, we'll leave this the way it is because we have the chimneys to deal with, right? So we'll leave that for now. And then we'll bring this in like that. So we have basically our windows that will be on both sides there. Uh, we also want kind of like a window area in here as well. So I'm going to kind of go like that and bring it along like that. So it looks a little bit like that. I think that will work out fine. And then for this, we can just fill this in with our sides here. Less windows actually will help with uh, keeping the temperature on inside with warmer. So more windows actually cool down the build. So you generally don't want too many windows. Um, having the amount of windows on this side should be just enough or the two fireplaces would generally actually keep it warm enough. But um, we'll try that. I'm actually going to remove these um, posts here and I'm going to build something like this and I'll put our door in and then I'll do that for the windows on this side and then that will just kind of look a little bit normal uh, and match up with roughly this kind of theme on this side here. So now that we got that done, uh, what we need to do is basically work on the chimney. So we'll do about like that, and then we will kind of bring it up so it's like that. And that should be enough room to do the roof, I think. We'll do maybe two more like that, uh, maybe an extended chimney. And then we'll do the same for this side here. So we'll go up to right it's a little bit too high okay so right there and then we'll go up four and then what we need to do is basically put a roof in our walls and we'll fill that in like that just so we know where roughly our roof is going to go uh, we might even want to lower it a little bit because no actually that is the right location okay So we'll do that instead, and then what we can do is we can just fill this in to about there. And what we can do from there is we can grab some of the stone brick stairs, and then we'll kind of slant it like that. And that will kind of give the impression that it's a fireplace. And then we can put like a campfire in there, and then it will kind of go up there. All right, so that's all done. Now we have the interior part to work on. So I'm just gonna fill this in to about here. And then we'll do the same for this side. And I think because the roof's gonna be, yeah, so the roof, let's see what we can do over here. We'll bring that over here. Try to kind of keep it where it'll be easy enough for her to put the roofs in, right? So we'll do that up to here. See how that looks. That looks all right. Uh, we can always decorate it with some oak stairs as well. That's about the same color. And then we'll fill this in up to here and up to here. So that will kind of give the baseline of what we want for a roof. 
Uh, I'm not going to put a loft all the way over on this side. I'm probably going to leave that open. We'll have it somewhere on this side here. And that's already st starting to look really good. So we just have this part to do now. And we'll fill this part in and these parts. Alright, so now that we got that part done, I want to put in the floor for the second level. And uh, we're going to need stairs or something to come up to here. So I'll have to kind of plan that out. Maybe in the center part, we'll do kind of like a. Um, maybe not in the center. I'll do it over on this part, I guess. So that should be enough to get up, I think. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll try it. That should work out fine. Uh, we need oak stairs and then we'll place that on top of here like that to get up to this part. And then what we can do is we can work on the lighting a little bit. So we want some lanterns and I'm going to place down. Now these are going to have campfires. That's not going to be too much of an issue. Uh, but this part over here might need some light. So I'm going to put a couple lights over here. Uh, for the time being until we can figure out what we are going to do with that and we might want a couple here Yeah, that should be fine and I'll get the campfires as well Just to see what it looks like That should be bright enough. All right and then we need the windows as well, so I'm going to actually use combination of some white or regular um, glass and some white stained glass and hopefully that will give the impression that it's kind of frosty and stuff so we can kind of mix that in combination with each other to kind of make it look like it's kind of like a frosty feel to it all right so we'll fill that in like that and then we'll do the same over here. So that that should look a little bit better. And then what we can do is after we got that all sorted, we need a door in here. So generally what we want to work on is decorating the sides as well. So um, log cabins generally have kind of like a alternate pattern like that so we can do the same like that to give that log cabin feel and that should actually be like that and then we'll go over here we'll go one two and then one uh, one two one two and like that so that should look really good when it's finally finished and then what we'll do is we'll do the same for here so one two three and then we'll go up to that point and then we'll do one two one two and then one two three four and then one two one like that okay now that we need got that part in we need the roof so i'm going to use uh, dark oak for the roof itself uh, we need to find that first. So it's somewhere, I think, further down. Where are all the planks? I forget. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> all right, there we go. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically build this up uh, one block. And I'm going to bring it out to about here and about out to here. And then I'll do the same for each level. And then what we can do from there is we can build on to the um, actual roof part. 
So we'll just add this in in a couple moments. And then what we can do is next episode, what I think what we'll work on is we'll work on a probably another building. Uh, if we can fit in, I'm not sure if we're going to have enough time to do all four lots. We might decorate maybe one with some actual um, decorations like trees and stuff like that and we'll build two structures. So we'll work on that I think in this episode as well. We'll just do one decoration, put some trees in, maybe a campfire or stuff like that. Alright, so now that we got that part in, I am going to go and grab dark oak stairs and then I'm going to fill it up to this point. That chimney might be a little bit too high. I didn't know exactly where we needed the height, but I'm just going to leave it for now and see what we can come up with. So I'm going to go like that as well, just on that level here. And underneath, I'm going to basically go up like that. So it basically gives the impression that it's kind of sloped. And then I'm just going to make sure that this side is properly done the same over on this side. So like all this. And then I think what we'll do is bring it in like that as well. And we can decorate it a little bit like that. And go like that and bring this over to here. And then we just need to fill in this level. And we'll probably have like um, a little bit of a sloped roof at the top here. Just give it that rounded edge. And then we'll fill this in. Like that, and then all we need to do now is basically do that. And there we go, we got our roof in. It's all nicely sloped. And I uh, just want to make sure that this is all set up. Yep. Okay, I'm going to actually build, bring that in a little bit. And then we're going to put that like that. Just so it looks a little bit more like a proper support system. I think that looks a lot better than just having a regular stair there. So yeah, that's basically what we got so far. Uh, we have all this space over here that we can basically decorate. I think I'm just going to put in some spruce trees or some oak or something like that. Uh, we could probably put some oak in. And um, now we have to remember that a lot of this is going to be underground. So we're going to want to put our trees up on uh, stilts. So when we do fill in the bottom of the bit, it will just keep the regular train the way it is. So do that, and then we want to put some probably some. Don't want it too close to the edge. So some birch in here as well. And maybe one over here, maybe two. Yeah, we'll do two. Uh, that's going to be too close to the edge, so we'll do something like that. And then we'll start putting down our birch as well. So we we'll probably want one oak over here and a birch. Alternate between some birch and oaks as well. And uh, let's see, we'll do another oak over here. And then we just need to basically use some bone meal on these. Hopefully we don't get any large trees. Actually, we'll do the oak first. I think that'll be our best all, all option. So we'll do that. Okay, and then we'll do this one. Is that going to be... Yep, we can fit that in. 
And there we go. So that's basically where our first chunk will be. And what we can do after is, now we have a few options. We can basically fill in all the air with um, grass. I think that would be one alternative. Or if we wanted to fill in um, the area with uh, structure voids, we could do that as well. So I'm just gonna fill it in with grass. So fill location and then what we can do is we can go over to this side and then we will replace oh pardon me um grass block and replace and then air and there we go we got our little forestry log cabin in so next episode what we'll work on is i think what we can actually do is we'll build another kind of like one of these and then we'll just kind of rotate the actual build around a little bit so we can actually kind of give it some variant and then we can have like a little township with these little buildings and stuff like that so i will work on the interior decorating off camera I guess uh, over the weekend and just uh, get that all set up so when we do copy it it'll be set up and then next episode what we can do is we'll use this chunk here and we'll design a different uh, building just to give it some variation and then we'll do pretty much the same thing so hopefully you guys found today's video useful if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.